Okay, um, I wanted to do a quick video, guys, to uh, talk about the future uh, value investing spreadsheet. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what it does really quick, and then I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Um, so to start us off, in this first column, we have an interest rate, and the interest rate is uh, whatever the interest rate might be that you are of the account that you are investing in. Uh, Twelve percent is a common uh, mutual fund interest rate. That is a good common interest rate. Um, and then uh, the next one would be about uh, the number of pay periods, and that's the number of years. This number is in years for the formula that we're using. Um, the payment that you put in each period, now it should say per year. Actually, I'm going to add that right now. Uh, payment per year. That way I don't forget. And then uh, the next one it would be a present value, initial amount. So like, let's say uh, you open an account and you open it with $1,000. Then you would put $1,000 in here. Uh, sometimes you might be starting at a, with a balance of zero. And so you could put zero to see what your result would be, uh, so on and so forth. And type, type has to do with um, whether you're investing at the beginning or the end of a month, depending on uh, your paycheck. Uh, but you really don't need to worry about too much about that because uh, the purpose of this is just to get a general idea of how much you would be making um, after after so after a time period has passed. Uh, that's that's what the future value is. Okay, so um, for example, this one right here, this last one, uh, we're starting off with zero, uh, a zero amount in in our in our account, and we are putting a thousand dollars in it uh, a year, and then. Um, you're waiting uh, 13 years and uh, the rate is at 12%. So if you do that, at the end of 13 years, uh, that money will be up to uh, $31,392.60. Uh, and actually, just for fun, let's add some other stuff to that after we after we do this because it's fun to see you know how much money d did we actually put into it. Actually, let's just put it in right now. Okay, so... I'm going to put in, I want to find out how much money I'm actually putting in. And so I'm going to say equals to tell my spreadsheet that I'm putting a formula into it. And I'm going to say product because what I want to do is I want to take this amount and multiply it times the number of years uh, to see how much that is. Now, uh, because, because it's... Uh, we, we have to put a negative number right here. That way this is positive over here. And the, the best way I can explain the negative number is this is the money that's leaving your account and going into this account. Um, because if you don't put a negative there, then your future value will end up being negative, which doesn't matter that much. But I'm going to say this is negative C6. That way my answer comes out positive. Close parenthesis to end the formula. And so in this formula, what it's going to do, since it says product, it's going to take the number in C6 and the number in B6 and multiply them together. Uh, the C6 corresponds to the column, which is C. So this is column C. And then row 6. This is row 6. And so there's, um, there's the amount. So if I press enter, it'll tell me how much money I actually put into it. So this is kind of neat. This is how much money I actually put in after 13 years, and this is how much money it has become. And uh, uh, let's just do another just for fun again. Let's find out the difference between uh, the future value and how much money I actually put in. So there's no difference function. There's a sum function, uh, which is the same as adding. You're just uh, adding the opposite to get a difference. And so uh, let's um, say we want to add this cell, F6, and uh, this cell, but the negative of this cell. Okay, so F6, and I have to press comma, and then I can select the cell, or I can write it myself. Uh, since I know it's column G and row at, uh, 6, I can say column G, row 6. Close parenthesis. Oh, but I want the difference, so I'm going to put a negative in front of that. So we're saying the opposite of whatever is in that column. And so this would be uh, the amount that I'm making, um, or the interest amount. Okay, so I put in this amount, and then this is how much I'm actually making. Okay, I'm going to say actual amount invested, and this is going to be um, amount of interest. Earned. All right, so those are those are kind of fun uh, cells. 
Uh, I think it's fun. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this cell. So I'm going to hit Command C. And when you do that, uh, you'll see the dotted lines forming around the cell. And then I, I'm going to put that in this whole column. Uh, now I don't want to put it in the top column, so I'm going to hold my command button and click that cell so it doesn't it doesn't put the, the formula in that column. And I'm going to say command paste and paste is the V button. And so now it's going to put it in every single cell for this whole column so that uh, whenever I put something over here, it'll calculate my future value, my actual amount invested, and the amount earned. Uh, I want to make this bold just like my other titles. And so I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna copy this formula, select the column, uh, unselect that one cell since that's my title cell, I wanna leave that the same. And then I'm gonna hit Control Paste, which is Control V, and then it puts the formula in every single one of those. Ah, kinda of neat. Um, so, uh, let's see, this one's kinda of weird because we actually invest, oh, cause it's 1%, it's not that much. All right. So uh, let's say we had an account that gave me 8% and I wanted to do that for five years uh, and I want to invest uh, $5,000 a, a year, okay, and then my present value is zero, my type is one. All right, so uh, it looks like I would have $31,679.65 in the account. I would actually be investing $25,000 and I would be making $6,679.65 in interest if that was my account. So how do you actually get this formula, the future value formula? Because that's the most important one. I, I mean, I did this one and this one for fun just because, I don't know, I like spreadsheets. Uh, so how do you get there? Okay, so uh, let's um, first take a look at the FV formula. So if I say equals an FV, that stands for future value. Uh, after you press FV or, or say future value, um, then you want to start putting in all of the all the arguments. Okay, now the arguments that you would be putting in. I think if we press the question mark, it tells you. Yeah. So if I press the question mark, it tells you all the arguments that you'd be putting in. Now the arguments stand for um, uh, the cells or the the variables that you're going to put in there. There's the rate, the number of periods, the payment amount, the present value and they're beginning to type. So they give you an example of what it would look like, like what numbers you're gonna put in there. And then um, and then it tells you and it explains each of those arguments, okay? So uh, again, all I had to do was say equals FV uh, parenthesis, and oh, it, it's given it to me already now. Uh, before a question mark popped up, uh, so since uh, I already hit, hit the question mark, it's going to tell me. Let me see. Actually, let's delete all this. Let me see if I go to a different cell if it'll do that. Equals FV. Yeah, so it's already giving me um, all the arguments right here. So anyways, all the arguments are something that you're going to put in. Now, to make our spreadsheet very effective. Oh, look, there was a question mark. Dang it, I erased it and went away. There it is. So uh, see, there's a question mark if you've never pressed it again. You press the question mark and it gives you uh, that stuff. So... Um, all right, let's make this effective. Now, we can see that there is uh, one, two, three, four, five arguments that we're going to put in. So I'm going to count over one, two, three, four, five, and then this is going to be my future value. Oh, my typing is so loud in this video. Uh, that's my future value column. So I'm going to make that bold right there. And then I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna drag down this this bar right here. Can you guys see this? I want to do that because that makes my top row my header. See, when a row is a header, I can scroll down and up, and my header row stays there. And uh, that's kind of what I want uh, to do right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag down that bar. That's gonna be a header. You could also do that with um, the columns, but we don't need that for our spreadsheet. So in here, I'm gonna put um, equals FV. This is my formula. And then I'm going to put in um, all my arguments. All right, now instead of actually putting in the numbers here, I'm going to put the cells. That way, uh, whatever I put into the cell, into the cells, it'll automatically put it into the formula. So I don't have to type the formula every single time. After you select a cell, you say comma, 
Then you select another cell, comma, select another cell, comma, select another cell, comma, select another cell. Okay, so we got our five arguments right there. Uh, you always want to close your formula out with a parenthesis. And remember, if you um, were kind of confused, you can click on the question mark and it'll tell you what each of those are. So um, I see that right there. I'm going to type those in right now. Uh, this is the rate. This one was, let's see. Uh, number of pay periods. Actually, I'm just going to highlight these and copy it over. Sorry, I'm going to get lazy here. All right, so this one is the rate. Let's make that bold. All right, now because this column is is my gold column, that's my special column, I'm going to go ahead and say that is, uh, I'm going to make that whole thing uh, a certain color. We're going to say green. Let's do light green. No, I don't like that green. Let's do that one green. Let's see, that's better. Yeah, because that's our money column. Yeah. Okay, now whatever we, I put in here, uh, my future value of that account will automatically be calculated. Hey, yo. So let's say 12%. Uh, we're going to say we're going to do it for 10 years. Uh, let's say we're going to do uh, $2,000 a year. So let's do negative $2,000 a year. Um, and then my uh, initial investment will say we started at zero. My type is one. And so we would make. $39,309.17. Now, um, is it the same as my other guy? Just want to double check. Oh, yeah, because we only did eight here. I did 10. Then there's something. Okay, cool. All right, so um, is there anything else I wanted to tell you guys? Oh, yeah. So now we want to copy this formula into the rest of these. Now, and I could just do copy paste 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 and I could paste it in every single one of them but that's kind of obnoxious uh, remember copy is uh, command C if you're on a Mac and control C if you're on a PC and then uh, paste is command V if you're on a Mac or control V if you're on a PC I'm gonna select the whole column uh, and I'm gonna unselect the the first cell now to unselect just one cell on a Mac you hold command then click it if you're on a PC you hold control and then click it and then I'm gonna say control paste or command paste and it's gonna go into every cell down there okay uh, so this is uh, just the future value I know this one I had the extra columns but um, anyways I hope this helps you guys understand it oh and one more thing about the the payment each period now two thousand dollars is a year if you want to figure out how much that would be monthly you would take two thousand dollars and divide it by twelve if it's bi monthly like you get paid bi monthly and you would be investing out of every single paycheck then that would be uh, $2,000 divided by 24 because that would be every two months. I think 24 is the, the right number. I think actually you get more paychecks if you do uh, by monthly. But anyways, uh, let's not make it too complicated. But this is just to give you guys an idea of how much something would be worth if you invested it at a certain percentage.